Hello everyone, my name is Avery and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. Today, I wanted to show you guys my curly hair routine. I know it is so hard to find a good curly hair routine on YouTube. And I personally could not find one that was good for my hair. And so I just um, started experimenting, seeing what works for me. And I came up with this one and I wanted to share it with you guys. I know everybody has so many different types of um, curl patterns and like thickness to their hair. So if your hair is somewhat like mine or if you just want to try it out, um, let me know how it works for you. But yeah, so let's get straight on into the video. All right, so I'm starting off with getting my hair nice and wet, and then I'm gonna go in with this Shea Moisture Shampoo, and I'm going to just focus on getting every area of my scalp and making sure it's getting really clean. And then I'm going to rinse again, and then I'm going to shampoo for a second time. I like to split my hair in half because it really helps rinse out the shampoo from my roots and really get it in there. And I'm going to, I like to split it off into multiple sections so I can really just make sure that shampoo is getting rinsed out. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Here we're going in with our second shampoo and I'm this time I'm really making sure I'm just scrubbing my scalp and getting every part of my hair clean. I don't wash my ends, I let my ends get clean when I'm like rinsing and like pulling my shampoo down because I don't want to damage my ends because I found when I would scrub my ends before when I didn't really know what I was doing. I got so many split ends, so I'm just going to focus on my scalp and my mid like section of my hair and then let the shampoo run down and lightly go over my ends so I don't damage them. Alright, now I'm going in with this Nexus conditioner. Uh, I love this conditioner because it makes my hair very soft and I'm just going to go from the mid to ends and brush it out with my hairbrush because you know curly hair you have to brush out in the shower you can of course you try right, now I'm making sure all of my hair is brushed out from my roots and then oh my lanta look at the hair and then I'm going to go back in with more conditioner and I'm going to just leave that in my hair for when I get out because I like to leave in conditioner because it really helps my curls curl better when I leave in conditioner. And now I'm just going to wring out the excess and then we're done. Okay, so now that we're out of the shower, um, I'm go I have two products that I use that I put in my hair. So what I do, I do, I use a Denman brush. Some people like to just like scrunch when they're in the shower and that works for them, but that doesn't work for me. When I use a Denman brush, it helps my curls define more. So yeah, so I'm first going to put in um, this leave-in conditioner. This really helps my curls like really curl more and like clump together. Okay, so I just like to like split it in half because it helps because my hair is kind of thick. And I'll just like make sure I get it all over in both sections, all the way down to the tips. And I'll just run it through my fingers to make sure every strand is getting some. I hope today is a good um, curly hair day. My last curly hair day was not my best. And my curls were kind of frizzy and weren't clumping like they were supposed to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Denman brush and section off my hair. And I'm going to just run the Denman brush through each section to help define the curls. Okay, so I have two clips. You can, honestly, you can use whatever you want to section off your hair. But the, I like the clips because they're quick and I don't have to like tie it with a regular bow. So I'm just gonna split this, take this much off, and then I'm going to take the Denman brush. I'm wasting those curls for me. 
And then I'm going to take this Jelly Soft Curls um, gel and I'm going to take some of it and I'm going to run, like run it through the curls. And really make sure I get mine at the roots because my roots always like to stay frizzy. And I'm just gonna do that with my whole head. Alright, so after I'm done using the Denman brush, I'm going to flip my hair over and scrunch all of my curls to help them curl more. And then I'm going to go in with this curly hair cur um, gel and I'm going to scrunch it throughout all of my hair and just making sure all of my curls are just getting coated with that gel. And then I'm going to flip it back over and shake out my hair. Alright, so I just like finished styling my hair. I'm going to let it air dry. Um, I would normally diffuse it after I let it dry for a little bit, but I don't know where the diffuser is. So I'm just going to let it air dry today. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after it's been drying for a little bit. I've been flipping my hair back and forth to like help my roots to not get frizzy and for more volume. And so when it's fully dry, I will go in with an oil and scrunch it in there so it gets rid of the cast. Okay, so now that my hair is like mostly dry, it's not all the way dry, but I need to go ahead and put my oil in it because I have to go somewhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little oil and I'm going to just scrunch it in there to help get that cast out and make my hair nice and shiny and soft. And then flip it over and do the same thing on this. Alright, so that concludes my curly hair routine. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, let me know in the comments how it worked for you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.